Ja, sehr verehrter Herr Stadtpräsident. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Tuesley, Speakers, Chairpersons, dear guests, members, uh, uh, sponsors, donors, members of the foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to welcome you to the 13th Swiss Biennial on Science, Techniques and Aesthetics, the Mystery of Consciousness, which I open herewith. Humans have a mind. This is something unique, a miracle almost. However, nobody can say whether this mind is going to destroy the planet. If this is the case, man would have been a failed attempt of nature and civilization would be nothing more than a brief moment in the history of the planet. It seems to me that what we are lacking today is a philosophy, a science, which objectively studies the effects or the impact of human beings and societies on the basis uh, and which undermine the uh, ecosphere and civilization because of materialism and consumerism. UN General, Secretary General Antonio Guterres at the beginning of this year said our planet is on fire. He was referring to the wildfires in Australia, of course, but to climate change in general as well. And he also referred to the recurrence of nuclear armament and the political and economic situation around the globe, which is characterized by tensions. So it is legitimate to ask what is going to happen next and what hope we can have. Here, during the opening of the 13th Swiss Bayern Hill on science, techniques and aesthetics, Václav Havel wrote, to me hope is a state of the mind and not a state of the world. Hope is not a conviction that things will end well. Rather, it's the certainty that something makes sense, no matter what the outcome is. I like this definition of hope. It makes sense that we meet in Lucerne today and discuss preferences and decisions when it comes to choosing theories and philosophies, which we use to try and explain things that we can observe. And it also makes sense to publicly talk and about how every one of us in his or her experience um, is determined by uh, the uh, internal horizon a scope of thought. For 25 years now, the biennial has focused on uh, the significance and consequences of scientific research, which sometimes tend to get lost <clears throat> in uh, today's scientific efforts. The biennial fits into the town and canton of Lucerne, but it isn't by no means adjusted or adapted. Rather, its role is that of independent, critical objection and questioning of uh, what appears to be stable situation in science and society. We are platform focusing on our knowledge about the neuronal foundations of consciousness, neurosciences, but on the other hand, also on our phenomenal consciousness, our subjective experience, and our ability to directly experience um, conscious processes. The fundamental problem is that classical neuroscience has a problem 
with the individual subjective consciousness, which is irreducible in character. That is to say, it has difficulties with the individual perspective. This individual first-person perspective, which all of us have, lies beyond the traditional methods of science. According to the Australian philosopher David Chalmers, this is the hard problem. And it's an explanation gap. Why are there experiences as at all? Why does it hurt when I prick my finger with a needle? These are crucial questions, the answers to which provide us an understanding of consciousness. Neuroscience, with its knowledge and computer simulation, allows us an insight into the neurobiological functions of human brains. At the same time, it has impacted modern psychology and our understanding of human, of what it means to be human. I believe it's important to underline that today, from a broader perspective, we orient ourselves along the dogmas of a scientific materialism and reductionism which penetrates our societies. It seems to me that reductionism, which equals mind with consciousness, mind and consciousness with the brain, and the dominant science today, which reduces everything to what can be quantified, has put even greater emphasis on the aspect of the unexplainable. Many scientists, no matter what their metaphysical position is, assume that all aspects of consciousness ultimately can be explained with the functioning of the brain. Last evening, we had our legendary pre-conference dinner of speakers at Hotel Hammer in Eigenthal. And we started our discussion there. These discussions will be continued today and will show whether a completely new understanding of consciousness is necessary or whether the scientific disciplines, neuroscience or physics, need to be further elaborated, refined and developed. The 13th Biennial opens ways towards a new understanding of consciousness. It focuses on the most recent knowledge about altered states of consciousness, anesthesia, the role of spirituality, which is part of our being human. Consciousness disorders such as coma raise questions regarding the image that we have of ourselves and our consciousness, and Buddhism Buddhist poetry, which will be the topic of this afternoon, will show the relationship between Buddhism and the ecological consciousness, which in times of climate uh, change and destabilization affects all of us. There's something else which must not be underestimated. With technical neuronal networks and corresponding learning algorithms, we are now in a position to simulate self-organization processes of the brain. Now the question is, will the superiority of neuronal networks developed in the course of evolution remain, or will there be a tipping point where computer architectures develop consciousness and are superior to humans? 
By way of conclusion, I would like to thank all the sponsors, particularly the town of Lucerne, the canton of Lucerne. Thank you for the continuous financial support throughout the last 25 years. This has made it possible for me to highlight the contacts elaborated during these meetings in a global context and also in Lucerne. I would like to add that to me it was always important to practice a specific interdisciplinary approach linking a variety of research issues. Therefore, the biennial would like to invite you to get to know new approaches to knowledge. And I would like to thank the town and the canton of Lucerne, the donors, the members of foundation and the sponsors most cordially for their support. I wish all of you an inspiring day with interesting presentations and discussions. Thank you very much.